This is part five of the video series I've been making, the Profoto B1 User's Guide. In this video, we will be exploring motion capture with the Profoto B1. The Profoto B1 already has a short flash duration, but in freeze mode, which is one of its options, the flash duration is approximately half when you're at low power settings. At the top of the power setting, uh, the flash duration is approximately equal. If you can keep the required flash power relatively low, you get a substantial benefit in using freeze mode when you want to capture motion. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, I recommend that you go to the lower right hand corner of the screen and go ahead and hit the subscribe to button it will take you to the subscribe process. And Our first setup in this video, we're going to take a nice shiny Titleist golf ball with a fairly sharp logo and we're going to drop it here. And while we're dropping, I've got a Nikon D5 with a 105 millimeter lens, of course a tripod and the Profoto Air remote. Over here we have a Profoto B1. We're 1 250th of a second F8 ISO 100 and the lens is set to manual focus. I have focused ahead of time on the drop zone. There are two modes for the Profoto B1. Normal mode there is no writing up in the upper left hand corner of the display. However, to refresh your memory, if you hold in the power setting, press the test button quickly, you can see the word freeze up here. And that means we're in freeze mode. We're going to start off in normal mode. If I use my remote control, I can position the golf ball to show the logo to the camera and then we drop. And it takes a couple tries but eventually you get the ball in the middle of the frame. And we'll cut it off at four here. Here is the computer screen. You can see in the last shot anyway I got a lovely picture of my hand. We'll delete that. And here is one of the golf ball. And let's go to the top of the pile here. Delete the first. Here's the second. It's kind of off the frame. And you can see you don't get it every time, but you eventually will catch it. Now, this particular one, if we zoom in and scroll you can see that the logo is not particularly sharp so now that we're in freeze mode let's repeat the process And let's see what we got. And we'll delete a couple here and scroll this one up. Here is an image of the logo, much sharper. The point of this isn't just to uh, bounce golf balls. The difference between freeze mode and normal mode is significant such that when you're really trying to achieve sharpness, and freeze motion, the reduced duration of the flash in freeze mode will help you. Now we're going to move on and take on even more difficult tasks in terms of freezing motion. Water. Hmm. You know, it looks like rain. It's actually 
the proverbial dark and stormy night. On this side, we've got a Profoto B1, power level 2. Profoto B1, power level 2. What we're going to do here is have the rain stop by conveniently, fall off of the umbrella. I'll be inside here, hopefully at least semi-dry, and we will take photos in two modes, in normal mode and then in freeze mode. In normal mode, according to the user's manual, the flash duration should be about one ten thousandth of a second. In freeze mode, the duration should shorten to approximately one twenty thousandth of a second. Now one ten thousandth is already going to do a pretty good job of freezing the drips, but we'll see a small change when we go to freeze mode. Later, we're going to change the power level to go up to oh, maybe six, seven, eight. There, the difference between freeze mode and uh, normal mode is not as large. In fact, at power level 10, they are approximately the same. So, let's get some uh, lights and everything turned on here. Uh, okay, the strobes are on. The modeling lights in this case are set to 100%. I'm going to go uh, start the rain cloud. The uh, rain did start pretty much on time, so let's go in and take a photo. Okay, that was in normal mode. I'm going to go ahead now and change the strobes to freeze mode. We're now in freeze mode. We'll go ahead and take a second shot. Wet under here. The camera settings for both of the shots was 1 200th of a second, ISO 800, F4. Oh, on your screen now, you can see the result of the two photos. The first one shown is in normal mode. The second one is in freeze mode. As I said, the difference between freeze and normal mode in uh, low power settings is fairly small. I mean, uh, one twenty thousandth is half as much as one ten thousandth, but one ten thousandth is already very, very fast. We're going to change now and go to a high power setting on each of these and I'll re reconfigure the camera to uh, get the exposure correct. The photo you see on the screen now is the result of the shots we were taking at power level 10. You can see that even in freeze mode, uh, the one thousandth of a second approximate time still results in a little bit of motion blur in the drips. Uh, obviously, if you want to freeze rapid motion, keeping the power level lower is a good thing. The uh, sky is clearing now. I think the rain will quit. So, isn't it amazing how the sky clears just as we need it to? Okay, we've come in from the rain. This is the conclusion of the video. We tried the Profoto B1 in normal and freeze mode at low power settings. You could see from the demonstrated photos that the uh, duration of the flash is in normal mode, very short, but it gets even shorter when you go to freeze mode. This allows you to freeze even relatively fast motion. We also showed that when you go to high power levels, say 10, that the uh, duration of the flash is much longer. That is sufficient that for, say, falling water, you will see a tiny bit of motion blur. It's up to you to decide what your artistic vision is. How much motion blur do you want? The Profoto B1 gives you the capability of making a choice. If you haven't already, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner of the screen. 
I hope you got something out of this video. I enjoyed making it, and there will be more videos to come. Thanks for watching. JDegarPhoto.com is your source for headshot and portrait photography in eastern Washington. If you can't come to us, we can come to you. iMark Productions does wildlife and landscape photography, but we also do custom vehicle uh, shoots. If you have a car, motorcycle, or airplane that uh, you want a custom, give us a contact through iMarkProductions.com.